So how is this course structured? First, I'm going to cover the theory behind what we're doing, the mental model. Now, I don't want you to kid yourself. This is going to be messy, hard work. Migrating from Angular JS to Angular is not going to be easy. And your specific instance of the migration is going to be vastly different to everybody else's. But underlying it all is a simple structure and a clear set of rules. So if you've got a good grasp of those, then you can see through that mess to the other side. And that's my goal with this first section, which is I'm giving you the mental model so you've got something, you've got some sort of map to help you through this minefield of migration. So there's many different ways that the Angular team have created just a toolkit, basically, for migration. There's many different ways for applying that toolkit. Now, I'm going to describe you a plan, my plan, something that's pretty generic that I believe you can apply to any project. It's a specific method of migration that is a method that I advocate. Okay, now you don't have to use this method, you can use whatever method that you want to use, but this is the method and the plan and a way of breaking down the project that I recommend that I've had success with. So I recommend that you do that. And that's the actual method I'll be teaching in this course. And the bulk of this course is going to be a real case study. We're going to take an application. In fact, if you're somebody who's taken my Angular JS course, my old Angular 1 course, you're going to recognize the application. It's the application that we ended up building in my Angular JS course. It's a contacts application. And we're going to take this contacts application and we're going to migrate it using the plan over from Angular JS to Angular. So we're going to do it with a real life application. But we're also going to have a short section, a short lecture on troubleshooting at the end. So I've given this workshop or I've taught people about Angular JS migration many, many times, and quite a few common issues always come up. So I'm just going to discuss those really briefly in the troubleshooting section. Hopefully, some of that stuff might help you. And at the very end, I'm going to show you an alternative migration strategy. This is not officially mandated by the Angular team, but I have presented this at several conferences and I've even spoken about it at the large Angular Connect conference in London. It's kind of a catch-all bulletproof migration strategy. If nothing else works for you and you're thinking of rewriting everything from scratch, then give my alternative migration strategy a, a go because um, it does have some advantages over the upgrade approach, but also has a bunch of disadvantages as well. But it might be for you. 